she goes, up, up, and away with a friendly farewell. <laughs> Off on her journey, blessed by the best. High in the sky with a salute from the bold. <laughs> Off to the new world with a wave from the old. And now, here she comes, where the torch of liberty beckons. Beckons her to the land of the free. Beckons her to the home of the brave. Beckons her to the capital of entertainment. Through the golden glow of the Tinseltown twilight, down to her Beverly Hills mansion, comes the megastar's megastar. Yes, inviting us to drop by her place once again is talk show hostess, guru, and confidant of the rich and famous, Dame Edna Everidge, a lady in a hurry, hurrying to bring her gifts of caring and sharing to her guests and audience alike, hurrying to star in her own show in her own home. It's Dame Edna's Hollywood. Now it's time for me to introduce my next uncancelled guest, Rue McClannery! I'm it's such so a fan. Here. My dear Rue, the badge match, the badge for heaven's sake. Oh, I can't wait to see what you're going to call me. <laughs> well, oh, we go? Oh, isn't that funny? Put it there. Yeah. I couldn't find Rue, but I've got Kanga. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You don't know what an honor this is. I admire you so, particularly the way you dress, your whole getup. I think you, you show such nerve. <laughs> Thank you. I do hope by the time I'm your age, I have that kind of daring, that kind of joie de vivre. Oh, I think it's highly commendable. Lovely. <laughs> what a fascinating little talker you are, too. <laughs> you are. That's what I like in your... That's the other thing I like about you, the fact that gift for gab, you know, I'm sure you agree with me. What's her name again? Madge. Madge, yes. I sure... Madge you knows what I'm talking about. You agree with me, about. I think, not you, really. <laughs> It is a gift, you know. Well, they say the Irish have it. You're not Irish by any chance. I could be, because I think if you shake anyone's family tree, an Irish woman falls out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we had another southern belle here. Oh, yes? We had little Kim Basinger. Yes, I heard that southern accent. Well, she was here, and you're a bit of a southerner, a sort of Irish southerner. Uh, truly, yes, I am. Well, I'm from Oklahoma. I suppose that's southern enough. Well, that lovely character of yours, Blanche, though. Oh, yes. Well, she's from Georgia. She is from Georgia? Yeah, I think she's from Atlanta. Oh, They've never way. really quite decided, but I sort of think of her as Atlanta because of, you know, gone with the wind. You know, it has to be Atlanta. I it think. would be. Oh, it has to be. I love that show, Golden Oldies of yours. <laughs> and I... Oh, something like that. There's a that. place for you, you know. You know, <laughs> is there? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. You think you I could think squeeze me that. into that show? I, if you're nice to me, I just might do it. I'd love to be on it because, <laughs> you know, a lot of casting people watch my show. Oh, I'm sure. And so people who come on the show, like little Chevy and little Kim, Big career opportunities open up for them. They do. You might say. As a matter of fact, when I did my own show, they gave me my own show. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it led to my own show. My own show led to my own show. Well, this is it, isn't it? This is it, yes. yes I thought so. Aren't I fortunate? <laughs> um, but I'd love to be on your little Golden Girls. I think it could be arranged. Well, I've always thought women have a bit more of a sense of humour. After all, we bring life into the world, don't we? <laughs> I don't see what one has to do with the other, Edna. Well, neither do I, having just said it. But somehow there's a connection deep down in my intelligence. Could I ask you something totally off the subject? I've yes. always wondered, what's the difference in a dame and a lady? Well, a dame is a title. It's something, in fact, given to me by the Queen of England. Really? Whereas a lady... That's another title, but it's not nearly as important. So if I wanted to be somebody, that's what I should aspire to. You would aspire. I live in England for a little bit, and I happen to know she watches 
in the palace, she watches Golden oh, Girls. Oh, be still my heart. And, and I'll are tell you, you, are you uh, yes, and one thing I'm going to tell you, and she won't mind me saying this, you're watching. Hello. Um, <laughs> she'd like to guest on Golden Girls. She would. <laughs> Just briefly, a cameo from the Queen of England. Can you imagine that? You're a stylish woman. I was, or well, I you am. You are stylish, isn't she? <laughs> Very stylish. <laughs> what do you enjoy wearing most? What kind of outfits? The, the less I have to wear, the happier I am. You know what I mean? I don't like to wear undergarments or pantyhose, that sort of thing. No? No. I don't like anything restrictive. I like just to wear... I love tank tops. That's what this is, you know? It's a tank, tank top. top. A pair Lovely. of pants. I remember them. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, they're still in, you know. They're still in. Of course oh, yes, they are. are. You're but wearing them there in room? It, well, I'll make them be. It's just very simple. I like to dress very comfortably and simply. So do I. This is one of my oldest dresses, as I said at the beginning of the really? show. Oh, it looks brand new. Well, it's lovely. It's my equivalent of jeans and a T-shirt. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't want to copy That's anyone. Women's, that is Madge's best frock. <laughs> There's something very sad about that. You can say that again. <laughs> she came in the other day, I have to tell you this, wearing a little grey bolero top. Oh. And I thought, I've seen that grey wool before. It was my husband's briefs she was wearing. <laughs> Upside down, she put her arms... She put her arms through the leg holes oh, and yes. she'd forced her little head through the slit. Oh. She had... And yet, you know, she has such poise. Stop talking about Madge, for goodness sake. <laughs> You're an active, busy woman. What would you be doing if you weren't here tonight? Uh, excuse me, me. Are you Miss Taylor? Miss Elizabeth Taylor? I'm sorry. <laughs> 